Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to reconstitute medication. And before we get started, if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name is Tina, nurse practitioner. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Let's get started. Okay, so for today's demonstration, we're gonna be talking about how to reconstitute an MMR vaccine. And there are actually 11 vaccines that need to be reconstituted. So I will include that in the link below. And for today's demonstration, we will be focusing on your MMR vaccine. So this medication is going to be prepared in two vials. So one of them is your vial, which is the powdered form. And then you will also have your diluent, which is sterile and specifically for this vaccine. You never ever want to um, substitute it with a different type of sterile water because this specific diluent is free of preservatives. So you wanna make sure that you withdraw all of the contents of the medication and you put it into the powder form. So before you get started, you wanna make sure one, you have an order, you wanna verify the patient's allergies, the safe rights for medication administration, you wanna do your hand hygiene and gather all your supplies. So we have our gloves, we have our syringe, we have an extra needle, we have our alcohol preps, and then we have our medication. And you wanna make sure that you actually look at the expiration date and that you enter the log number and the manufacturer and all of those important references so that way you have complete documentation of the medication just in case of a reaction they know specifically how to locate the specific medication for the vaccine if there was a potential adverse reaction. You always wanna provide the patient with an information and pamphlet and um, the provider should have already had this conversation with the patient or the parent's child um, regarding side effects, etc. So let's get started. So you have your medication prepared, you've done your hand hygiene. So you're gonna pop open the diluent cap And then you're also gonna pop open the other vial, which is the powder form. Okay, you're gonna clean the top of the vial with an alcohol prep. You're gonna let it air dry. Don't blow on it because you can contaminate it. Now you wanna remove all the volume of this medication, which is about 1.3 mils. So I'm going to prepare my syringe and I'm going to bring the plunger down to 1.3. So we're at one and then 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. So that's what I'm going, the air that I'm going to inject into this vial. I'm gonna withdraw the cap from the syringe and be very careful that you don't get poked. Then I'm going to, with my um, hand, I'm gonna hold the vial and I'm going to inject the needle into the vial. I'm going to inject the air, okay? And I feel resistance, but I'm gonna hold that plunger on the top. I'm gonna bring it upside down and I'm gonna bring the bevel of the needle all the way down so that way I'm not collecting air when I allow it to be withdrawn the total volume. A little trick that I learned over the years. So I'm lowering the needle as I collect the volume so that way I don't get so many air bubbles and it just makes it a lot easier and smoother to collect. So I have all the medication or the diluent, so I'm gonna remove whatever air is left Okay, so we have all the contents. Now with this medication, I'm going to inject this diluent into the powder form and let it dissolve and I'm gonna twirl it for a couple seconds. So I'm putting it in and then I'm going to inject. And you see how it dissolves? 
and then I'm going to remove. I'm going to dispose of the needle in the sharps container and then I'm going to twirl it around so it's nice and dissolved. Okay. Now with my new syringe and needle, I'm going to do the same technique. I'm going to bring the plunger back to 1.3 mils or actually 0.5 because I'm going with this medication, I'm only going to obtain 0.5 mils because that's what I'm going to inject into the patient. I'm going to put it back in. I'm going to put the volume of 0.5. I'm going to bring the needle down and I'm going to collect 0.5 because that's per the manufacturer guidelines. So I'm at 0.5. Then I'm going to withdraw. And I'm going to change out my needle. I'm going to change out my needle with another clean needle. And this will be given subcutaneously. So this is ready. If I need a second nurse to verify it, I will per protocol. And then I will follow guidelines and administer it um, subcutaneously. And don't forget to check out one of my other videos. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.